Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today this is my first how-to tutorial on how to build the LEGO Five Nights Freddy's 1 security office. Um, here's the, um, just for example what it's gonna look like. Here's the one from my FNAF 1 map. Um, yeah, there it is. Um, okay, you had your look. Now let's get started on ours. Alright, so here we are, and first we're going to start out with um, <clears throat> one of these plates. Um, if you have gray, light gray or dark gray, that would um, be better to use. However, um, one second, if you have two of these um, in gray, I guess, I mean, you can really use whatever color you want, but I'm using gray because accuracy. So if you have two of these, that would, that would work. Or... If you have four of these, that would also work. Because one, two, three, four. But yeah. So, anyways, let's get started. Um, so first, we're gonna start off by building the tiled floor of the office. So, um, we're gonna start by using these kind of tiles. You don't have to use these specific ones. I am using them because they're the only ones that I have. So, yeah. So, kind of make a checker floorboard pattern like this. Now, like I said, you don't have to use these specific kinds. You can use the regular Lego ones that look like this. These are off brands, these are actually character plates. And they came with my uh, new Lego Five Nights at Freddy's, or not Lego, but kind of like knockoff Lego figures that came in the mail for me about a couple days ago. So yeah, you can use whatever kind you want, but I'm just using these. Anyways, um, for whites, you're gonna want to use like the same color or the same kind of brick like this, but white. Fortunately, I don't have any, so I'm just gonna be making some like this so we've run into a slight problem i have run out so i'll be right back all right problem solved let's get back to building oh, geez. perfect now Let's start building up the walls. Now I tell you what, if you don't have gray pieces, this is gonna be a little difficult for you. But here's a suggestion if you don't have any gray pieces, tan pieces will also look okay too, because they kind of match the theme of Freddy's. So gray or tan is recommended, but I'm gonna be using gray. So okay, let me show you something really quickly. If you can, try to make this pattern as far around as you can. Unfortunately, I just swiped these from my FNAF mock, so I'm just going to be putting them here when we start building, but I'll give you a second to look at how I built them because I'm not going to take them apart and rebuild them. You can pause the video if you want and feel free to examine it. Camera, focus. Alright, let's go. So I'm gonna stick these right here. Build four across because we're gonna put the doors in there. <clears throat> Anyways, now let's start building up the sides because we're gonna need to put some windows down. Let me just stick these in. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. My uh, my family's here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Alright. There we go. Now, we're gonna start building the windows. You can just leave it without anything there to represent the window. Like, just to keep it blank. Like, you could just put a piece here and start building that way and call it a window. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these pieces from a McFarlane Toys Five Nights at Freddy's set which is like an off-brand version of Lego. I'll stick it right there for this mock. All 
right, there we go. Now I'm gonna finish building up like this. There we go. Now I'm gonna go this way now. I'm gonna use dark gray to go around this side. Or as far as I can, I don't have a lot of the dark gray pieces, which is kind of weird. Here, I have Lego scattered literally all over my bedroom, so that I can just grab a couple pieces and it'll work. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have any more dark rays? Um, frick man, uh, I'll be right back. All right, once again, problem solved. My camera does not like to focus on one place, so if you see the focus changing regularly, that's why. Um, <clears throat> all right, so, Let's start building up this wall. If you see this little like smudge on there, I got some stuff on it a while ago, so just ignore it as much as you possibly can. Bunch of gray pieces. I um, forgot where I put them. All right, problem solved. I think we should be set for life now with the uh, gray pieces. <clears throat> Just remove all these from each other. to our next step. This one has a hole in it, but I don't really have any other pieces in this form. Plus, it's just gonna be blocked off, so it really doesn't matter, except you see that. And let's finish up on this side. Oh, oh shoot, oh my god. Sorry, I couldn't find the, um, the other, oh jeez, my tripod. I couldn't find the other piece I was using for the second window. So I hate this camera so much. Focus. There we go. Um, <clears throat> let's finish building up this wall over here. There's the layout of your office. Let's get started on the decorations and eventually we're gonna be building some door pieces. All right, so you're gonna need this piece to represent the desk. I'll, um, I'll give you a second to stare at to see how many studs you need and what color, of course, brown. All right, let's get started with the building. So, um, is that too long? Yeah, it is. Um, let's see here. You're gonna want one of these and one of these because once we put this down, we're gonna put this on this side. This one on this side. Right here, let me, let me flip them really quickly because there was writing on the back. I didn't want that coming up. Um, this side and then this one goes here. To represent the little drawer that's supposed to be there in the, uh, the video game and try to center it in the middle of the office room um as best you can just like that and of course you're gonna have these like crevices in here there's no tiling so just take a couple of these ignore this piece you don't have to have it this piece but i don't have any more of these regular ones so oh it's gonna be a tight fit for my fingers. Uh, um, for, 
get in there. Okay, looks perfect. Now, let's start the decorations on the desk. Um, now, first decoration, of course, is going to be the cupcake. And this cupcake that I'm actually going to show you how to build came with this chica in the mail. So, take a plate that kind of looks like a radar dish, but it's just a 2x2 two two flat with the stud in the middle in a circle form. And take a... Um, one by one brown stud place it on top and take a one by one pink flower piece stud place it on top of the brown stud and you have a nice little um cupcake now i'm going to show you how to make the little tvs because we're going to need a tv set to set this thing on top of because that's how it is in the video game all right so here's what you're going to need for the tvs you're going to need a two by two black block and a one by two black block and you're going to place them on the right corner of the desk like so like that and then we're going to take our cupcake we just built place it on top of the large tv and kind of compress it down into there and we're good with that now these are some these are some unique pieces so i don't know if all of you will have them but you're gonna need these pieces for the next part. You're gonna need um, one of these to make a, a soda drink. You could use this piece or you could just use a gray flat piece. Stick it on top, just like that. Then you're gonna need a all black um, car steering wheel to represent the fan and a paper envelope or Lego paper envelope, of course, you know, stick it on blocks. And we're gonna form them all on the desk, like so. You're gonna put the fan all the way over there. We're gonna stick the drink on the corner of the desk. And then, um, how do I wanna do the envelope? I could set it diagonally like that, I guess. That could represent the desk and everything that sits on it. Um, or if you want to get a little creative with the uh, crumpled up papers, I suppose, you could take um, a one by one flat white tile and stick it there, but kind of like angle it like that to make it like a note sitting on the desk. And then for the celebrate poster, the celebrate poster is going to be a little bit um, uh, strange. You're going to take a white piece that kind of looks like this. I don't have a name for it. You're gonna um, take one of these dark blue flat one by two tiles, put it on the left side, and one of these one by two flat with stud yellow tiles, put it on this side to represent Bonnie and Chica, I guess. I don't have a brown one for Freddy. And we're gonna put it up here, like that, to represent the Celebrate poster. I don't have anything, unfortunately, for the other posters on the wall, but yeah, so far we have our office layout, but we can't forget one key thing to every office. You're gonna need a chair, and a security guard with a camera pad. This is the security guard I use in all of my LEGO Five Nights at Freddy's stop motion animations. Oh, geez. There we go. So this is our office, but we're not done yet. But really quickly, I just want you to take a look. This is our office layout. Checkered floor, checkered wall kind of, I guess. Um, celebrate poster and the desk, which I think came out really nicely. All right, now there's a few more things I wanna add. Just wait. Here are the pieces laid out on the table, displayed on the table you're gonna need for the next steps right here. And here are they. We're gonna take this one, this um, thing, right? I guess these two, and place them next to each other. We're gonna take this piece, place it directly across them both, connecting them in. And then there's just a few things, and then we'll be done with this build. Everyone who plays FNAF would know that there's a little, like a, a dresser or a bookshelf outside of the office door on the right side so that's what we're going to be doing now 
Take one of these. This here. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. My battery um, cut out and my phone got too low to record, but it's charging now. So take one of these, stick it on here. Take a uh, two by four tan plate, stick it right there. A two by two tan plate, stick it on this side. And a one by two tan plate, stick it right here. Put a one by four dark tan plate in the very back. And a one by four flat light tan plate in the very front. And if you count this way on the second one, you're gonna put a soda drink, a green one preferably. And we're gonna find some, hold up, I'm gonna find some way to stick it right there and kind of balance it out too. I'm, I'm thinking, um, honestly, I really don't see anything at my disposal. That I can, oh, never mind. Hold on. All right, so take one of these pieces, stick it underneath here on that side, and then place this directly here. And then there's like paper spread out all over the floor. So, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to help it like stick together. So, take an envelope piece, press it right down, two away from this directly. And that represents the little hallway. So we have everything there. And last but not least, our minifigure. Her feet are kind of weird. Now, let's make the door to finish off this build. So here are the pieces you're gonna need for the door. You're gonna need one of these, and a couple of these that build up. How many blocks do these build up, actually? Three. These build up about three whole square blocks, so stick two on each side. Another one of these goes on top. And you can use this to represent the little office sliding door by sliding it kind of like that. And honestly, yep, yeah, there's your Lego Five Nights at Freddy's uh, one security office. It's not like the best or anything, but it does the job. Um, I think compared to my office, this one looks pretty cool. Or, um, when I say my office, I um, I have an entire Lego FNAF map built, so. Compared to my office, I think this one holds its own for sure. I actually salvaged a ton of pieces from my office um, in my FNAF map, which I'm gonna put back. I'm gonna unfortunately have to take this apart once I'm done with this video. But other than that, there are your minifigures and your, your build. And try to replicate, replicate everything as best I could. For example, the checker floor. I know the checker pieces are a little bit bigger, Compared to the ones in there, look, I salvaged a bunch of pieces. But if you are looking to start stop motions, built um, need references to build a FNAF map. Um, Want to play around with this or just enjoy building mocks that people make on the internet? I guess you could make this. Um, I have a little special treat for everyone at the end of this video for a little like thank you for watching and for how high our um, subscriber count has gotten. So yeah, um, thanks again so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.